Good morning, Los Angeles. And yes, it was one of the worst calls in NFL history. And yes, it changed the fortunes of two teams, their entire seasons, perhaps. Yes, it was grossly unfair. But no, no, no. Everyone needs to stop whining about it. I am Bill Plasky, sports columnist, Los Angeles Times. And this is your wake-up call. You know what I'm talking about. The Monday night football game, the Seahawks defeated the Lions 13-10. to The Lions, in the last two minutes, on the verge of scoring a touchdown, and Calvin Johnson fumbled the ball into the end zone. The Seahawks' K.J. Wright batted the ball out of the end zone illegally. However, the ball was given to the Seahawks. Instead, it should have been a penalty against the Seahawks. Lions should have had the ball on the, on the one and one half yard line. Terrible call. Everyone in the NFL saw it. Everyone in the NFL saw it on replay. It wasn't reviewed. The NFL, people in the NFL didn't know the rules. It was awful. It was terrible. But guess what? Calvin Johnson was right. After the game, the guy who fumbled said, at the end of the day, you can't leave it in the ref's hands. And you know what? We all need to learn that, including me, because I went crazy on Twitter. But you know what? At the end of the day, the Lions gained 256 total yards. The Lions couldn't take advantage of three Seattle lost fumbles. The Lions were three for 13 on third downs. The Lions lost the fumble themselves. At the end of the day, the Lions did leave it in the ref's hands, and you can't do that. I think we all need to stop whining about this and just say, you know what? The Lions allowed themselves to be in a position where a horrible call, unbelievable call, can change a game and cost them the game. And guess whose fault that is? That's the Lions' fault. Now, again, I hope the NFL disciplines the referee like a player would be disciplined. I hope the NFL would agree to start reviewing all plays in the last two minutes, not just certain plays. But the bottom line is the Lions, it was a tough defeat for them, but it was a defeat they could have avoided and had nothing to do with the Zebra. It had to do with the Lions. You can follow us at LATimes.com and follow me on Twitter at Bill Plaschke. Have a great day.